And I said, no, sir. And he said, I'm thinking of Professor Emeritus Uluwali Akonde. And I said, yes, that's exactly the person I am thinking about. So we appreciate you, sir, for accepting. And I called him. He already knew why I was calling him. And he said, I will be there. You don't need to worry. Just send the electronic copy of the letter. I did not need to visit him. We appreciate you, sir. There, is, uh, there used to be one person, uh, one of our fathers. I know Baba Oshmade is here. One of our fathers in God who used to pray a prayer for somebody uh, is dead now. He used to pray because the person was the lay deputy president in the Diocese of Ibadan. And every year we had an official program. Baba Fabian Mirokun will play, pray. He say, we say, eh, hey, niku lai lai. And the man continued to live. And at a point, people were saying, is that prayer that was making that man not to go, that they should stop praying that kind of prayer for the man. But you see, eh, hey, niku lai lai means a lot of things. Your legacies will live behind you, sir. That is the meaning of my own eh, Nikulai Lai. A round of applause for Baba. And to all those who have accepted to be with us here, starting with our guest lecturer, um, Professor Layaki. Professor Layaki had to refuse offers. Uh, we had planned, I, I must say this, we had planned to lodge him at the guest house. But he said, look, I'm here to give a guest lecture. Why should you pay for my lodgings? He refused it. We appreciate you, sir. God bless you. We appreciate our provost, uh, represented by the deputy provost. The provost is uh, not here physically, but he's also here physically. Because the other half of the provost is here. Anytime I see Professor Akin Yikaomi Bodu, I know that Ola Yikaomi Bodu is here. So we appreciate you, Ma. I know she's listening to us. We appreciate you, Ma, for sending your deputy and also sending... Don't let me cobalize myself. Also, I like Professor Akin Yikaomi Bodu to be here. We appreciate you. We appreciate all our former provosts, all those who have... And the president of the Physiological Society of Nigeria, uh, at times, we say somebody who is an insider is not usually taken seriously because he's part of physiology department. We don't know the implication of the president of the Physiological Society of Nigeria being here. He's putting his stamp of authority as the president of that society to grace this occasion. We appreciate you, Professor Eyari Alada. God bless you, sir. I know other people will be recognized, but I, can, I know we have to appreciate all those who have come from far and wide. Um, one very good friend of Professor Fasomade that I know from the day I knew him, he has always been there, Professor of Vet Medicine. You know the person I'm talking about. We appreciate you, sir. And all those who are here are celebrating with him. But he has asked me to do something to recognize and bring to the front the president of the Diabetes Association of Nigeria. Um, Alaji, you are welcome. Please come forward, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Yes. Lastly, before I sit down, I must, if I want to collect my next salary, appreciate the acceptance of the number one citizen in this university. I called him. He actually was not in Ibadan. And he gave his word. I may not be in Ibadan on Monday the 3rd, but be assured that I will be represented. And he's represented by my friend, my brother, Professor Latuji Uyeshile, representing the Vice Chancellor of the University of Ibadan. I appreciate you, sir. 
And to all who have come, again I say thank you very much. We'll do more of recognitions later. God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, allow me to also recognize a few people. Um, in our midst, we have Professor Bode Binley. Please, a round of applause for him. <laughs> Professor Sunji Akonde is also in our midst. Um, Professor Ikeoluakwo Ajayi, the director of Emirates. Professor T.I. Odiaka. Professor G.O. Adeyemi. Professor Rashid Bakari. Uh, at this juncture, I'd also like to recognize members of the Chapel of Resurrection. Can you please wave your hand for recognition? A round of applause for you all. Uh, members of the Morning Star Society. God bless you. Uh, I'd also like to recognize the presence of uh, those who went to school with our celebrants. Ladies and gentlemen, the class, MBBS class of 1980. Please, can you wave your hand? for recognition. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. We will go straight to the next item on the agenda, which is the chairman. Huh? May I also recognize the resurrection lilies. Please wave your hand if you are here. Thank you, thank you very much. Allow me to also recognize Professor Mrs. Uraola Shokombi. Please, a round of applause for her, please. Thank you very much. We will now go straight to the chairman's remark, which will be given by Emeritus Professor E. Uluwale Akonde. Please, a round of applause for him as he comes to the podium. Thank you very much. Celebrants of today, Professor Adesoji Fasamade and his amiable wife, Mrs. Fasamade, the Vice Chancellor of the University, ably represented by the Dean of the Faculty of Arts, the Provost College of Medicine, ably represented by the Deputy Provost, the Chaplain of the Chapel of the Resurrection and the Assistant Chaplain One of the Chapel of the Resurrection. Former Provosts of the College of Medicine, former Chief Medical Directors, today's lecturer, let me rest or let me lean on the existing protocol. I'm told that you should never stand on the protocol. But if you stand on it, you might break it. But let me lean on it. My Lord Bishop, I recognize you, sir. All of us present here, you're all welcome. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will live in it and rejoice in it. Today is the 70th birthday of Professor Adi Soji Adi. This tradition has now occurred that you retire on the very last, on the very day of which you turn 70. You're not even given any other time to. Someone had asked me, what happens if it's a Sunday? I have not, no question to ask. If it's on the Sunday, yes, you still retire and you go to church and celebrate Lord's goodness in your life. So we celebrate Lord's goodness in the life of Professor and Mrs. Fasumadi and the family. Three score and ten years shall thou live. You might live longer. But if you do live longer, like many of us have through God's grace, sometimes you have a lot of things that you have to worry about. We pray that you will live longer than 70 and have no problems. You will live in good health and abundance grace. God's grace is the only thing that one needs. Nothing else. If you have God's grace, you are okay. Dr. Fasomade has done a lot in this university. And I remember in the Chapel of the Resurrection, he's always, in fact, he has an honorary status there. He looks after everybody. He makes sure that things are well organized. There's the Guild of Ushers. 
I believe he is actually in charge of them. I don't know whether officially or unofficially. But one thing I know of him is that he's always there in the chapel. And when I mentioned to my wife that he was going to Prasad Samadhi, she remembered him as the one who was always in the chapel, making sure that we get a, a good seat, but that things are well organized. So not only have you served in the Department of Theology, you have served in the Chapel of the Resurrection, and God will continue to honor you and your family. You will live long, you will have a healthy life, there will be no problem at all. The university will continue to use you. I don't know, it's not everybody is given emeritus, but when they ask why are you an emeritus, I said, the only reason I'm an emeritus just means you're an old man, an old professor. So when you're an old professor, they give you the title emeritus. So when you go and say an emeritus so and so, it's just to announce that I'm an old professor. I've been there for a long time. So your time is gone. Whether you're given a measure or not, I believe you will be given. But the university will continue to use you. The Chapel of the Resurrection will continue to use you. Nigeria will continue to benefit from your experience. I take this opportunity to welcome you all to this very important ceremony. We look forward to the valedictory lecture that will be given on behalf of the retired professor. He will be retired but not tired in the, by the good grace of our Lord Jesus Christ you will never be tired I thank you all for listening thank you very much Thank you very much, sir. This hall, Umar Ganduje Hall, relatively new, uh, donated to the University of Ibadan, it's under a management, uh, so that we don't get kicked out. Allow me to recognize Chairman Umar Ganduje Committee as well as a professor of virology, Professor Georgina Odaibu. Please, a round of applause for her. Allow me to also recognize Professor S.O. Ogunlade of the Department of Surgery and his lovely wife, my teacher, Dr. Olubumi Ogunlade. Please, a round of applause for them. Allow me to also recognize a former member of council, University of Ibadan, Dr. Ghani Adeniro. Incidentally, yesterday was his birthday. Please, a round of applause for him, please. Thank you very much. I have my HOD's mandates to bring forward to the chairs in front a former dean of the Faculty of Science, Professor T.I. Odiaka. Please, a round of applause for him and come forward, sir. Please, sir. He prefers that seat, apparently. He prefers that seat. Next on the agenda, we will then take the address by the special guest of honor, the special guest of honor, Professor Kayode Adebowale, the vice chancellor, University of Ibadan who is being ably represented by the Dean of Arts, Professor Olatunji Oyeshile. Please, a round of applause for him as he comes forward for his address. The chairman of this occasion, Emeritus Professor Oluwale Akonde, the celebrant of today, Professor and Mrs. Adesoji Fasomade, the Provost College of Medicine, the Dean, Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences, 
the head of the Department of Physiology, the president uh, Physiology Association of Nigeria, Professor Lada, distinguished former provosts and CMD of College of Medicine, distinguished professors, distinguished retirees, spiritual leaders. In fact, if I say I should mention names one by one, then this will be the keynote speech for today. And I don't want to do that. But because of the power vested in me, representing the 13th Vice Chancellor of our university, Professor Kyle Dewey, but who is unavoidably sent. Uh, I want us to do one or two things uh, before I read this speech. Uh, I want us to have a birthday chorus for the celebrant and we we'll all remain steady except two categories of people. And the first category is the celebrant and his wife. They will be seated. And those who have one medical issue or the other is not compulsory. And the uh, Professor Olaleye will lead us now in the bad day chorus. you. May the good Lord bless you. Amen. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you always. May the good Lord bless you. We wish you Many happy returns of the day, long life and prosperity. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! For Professor Father Made, praise the Lord! Please be. Thank you for the honor. Uh, you see, it's good to have power at times, but one should not misuse the power. Thank you for going along with me. Uh, I want to congratulate uh, Professor Fasomade and the family for attaining the retirement age in good health. Uh, when we look around our country, we discover that getting to the age of 70 has become an accruing task. On a daily basis, when we at every corner of our room, there is also always the disincentive to continue. Sometimes you feel like going back to bed. And I don't know why that is so with us in this part of the world. It means that in spite of our advancement in the social science, arts, medicine, technology, something is still fundamentally wrong with us as a people, that we are not where 
we expected to be. So, so for somebody to have gone through the trajectory and attained the age of 70 in good health is a lot of favor from the, God, from the Lord. So we congratulate you, sir. And I know that in this hall, there are many retirees. I also congratulate you because the Lord has given you that privilege to enjoy the labor, the, the reward of your labor, even when things seem to be falling apart. And we just pray that things would turn around for better. Rest is sweet after labor. And so everybody aspires to this moment. And so I pray for those of us who are looking forward to our retirement, whether in a few years or in many years to come, that the Lord will grant our prayers and requests. We have to continue to encourage ourselves. If we do not do that, then a lot of things will go wrong. And uh, the University of Ibadan appreciates the services, the immense contributions of Professor Fasumade why he was on official active service. Although he's officially retired, he's still part and parcel of the university because the university will continue to leverage all his experience to get one or two things fixed, not only in the department of faculty, but in the university. So we want to say that you are still much around with us, and we shall continue to call on you from time to time. And as I pray for the retirees, I also pray for you that you enjoy the fruits of your labor in good health and happiness. Uh, let me say this before I close the remark. We need to help us in finding sources of funding to our departments and faculties because we are in the era of building resources to the university. In fact, on a daily basis, the fund is plummeting. And we have to produce quality graduates. So we want to appeal to you that those links that you actively pursued while on active service, we should continue so that our universities can continue to be on top. Uh, once again, I congratulate the Department of Physiology uh, for this honor being done to one of the founding fathers. And I also congratulate the Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences as well as the University of Ibadan. I pray that the good Lord will continue to be with Professor Adi Soji Fasomade and that his year of retirement will be better than the years of his active service. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. We really appreciate uh, your kind words. Uh, allow me to also, to also recognize in our midst the Assistant Director of Nursing, University College Hospital, Mrs. Adekoya. Please, a round of applause. Can we get a wave? Thank you very much, ma. Allow me to recognize Professor Y. Raji, 
Professor Olatunde Uweye. Please, a round of applause for them as I call their names, please. Professor Adibola Adegeye, Professor Uzegi, Professor K.S. Akinladi, Professor C.O.O. Olaya. Please, a round of applause for them. <laughs> Professor Fatai Feintola, please, a round of applause for him. <laughs> Professor O.A. Aderibigbe. And permit me to recognize a retired member of staff of the Department of Physiology. And if I may be selfish, uh, my BSc project supervisor, Dr. O. O. Akonde. Please, a round of applause for him. Thank you very much. We will go to the next item on the agenda, which is we'll be taking goodwill messages. And we will start from goodwill messages from the provost. College of Medicine, University of Ibano. Provost, sir, being ably represented by Professor Fatai Adeni, Provost College of Medicine, please a round of him as he comes forward to give his message on behalf of the Provost. this all right um thank you very much mc and um i apologize for that um short break in transmission um good good morning distinguished uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, i am here this morning on behalf of the provost of the college of medicine university of ibado professor olainka omigbado who is um, unavoidably absent at this event. Uh, she would have loved to be here, but um, she's uh, not available right now in Ibadan. And uh, we're both away for the whole of last week. And um, I just returned over the weekend. And then she's coming in, in a, a couple of days. So she has asked me to represent her at this event. And um, she sends her apologies. So, um, because I will be speaking on behalf of the provost, although I'm very conscious of time, but I will have to uh, consider taking some recognitions, which is um, uh, the normal protocol, and um, I will make that as fast as possible. So, um, let me recognize most especially the chairman of today's occasion, the uh, foundation uh, provost of the College of Medicine and uh, pioneer chief medical director of the University College Hospital, <laughs> Emeritus Professor Oluwale Akonde. And um, of course, I will recognize my vice chancellor, Professor Kayode Oyebodi Adebowale, uh, FAS MNI, who is um, ably represented this morning as usual, if I may say that, by the Dean of Arts, Professor Olatuji Oyeshile. I mean, I have had um, at, to attend several occasions where the Dean of Arts had to represent the Vice Chancellor. Um, again, of course, I will recognize the uh, Dean of the Faculty of Basic 
Medical Sciences, Professor Oyedun Keodunola, and um, the head of uh, physiology, Professor S.B. Olale, who happens to be the uh, immediate past dean of the faculty. And of course, um, on the high table, we also have our, uh, the president of the Physiological Society of Nigeria, uh, Professor A.R.A. Alada, uh, uh, most welcome this morning. Um, special tribute to the uh, guest speaker of today, Professor Lukman Olayaki from the University uh, of Ilori. Uh, you are most welcome, sir, and um, uh, we are most delighted to have you to speak with us uh, this morning. And uh, the le title of the lecture kept very simple, but very, very important, a note of gratitude. And that is what we are here for this morning. Um, let me also specially, this time around, recognize the celebrant of today and his amiable wife, Professor Adesoji Adedikpe Fasomade. Um, I'm going to be talking about Professor Fasomade uh, this morning, essentially in two phases. First one will be a message from the provost of the College of Medicine, University of Ibadan. And the second phase will be my own uh, tribute, which is going to be very, very short. Um, the celebrant of today, as we all know, is a distinguished gentleman, very amiable, quiet, but has achieved a lot. Achieved a lot in the sense that um, he has made a lot of impact to uh, academia and, of course, to science. And uh, being an individual who has um, you know, traversed across two uh, faculties, if I may say, and having a joint appointment in the uh, Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences and then, of course, in the Department of Medicine, he must have made a lot of impact to several students over the years uh, because he has amassed several decades of impact to academia. We are very delighted and um, to note that the good Lord has been able to keep you to attain this uh, enviable age of 70. And uh, the previous speakers have, uh, in a way, attested to the fact that attaining 70 years doesn't look like something to be taken for granted anymore. So when we have an individual who has attained that age, I mean, all that needs to be done is to uh, have to roll out the drums uh, in gratitude to God Almighty for making it uh, possible. And so at the College of Medicine, because you have served that college so meritoriously, we are indeed very grateful to you, sir. And um, we thank you for all that you have done for the College of Medicine. And on behalf of all the staff, all the students, and indeed all the alumni who have had the opportunity of receiving tutelage directly from you, I say thank you to you this morning. We are indeed very grateful for all that you have done for the College of Medicine. Um, on behalf of myself, I must say that uh, Professor Fasomade made a lot of impact on me. And uh, many people may not know this, but I will make that known this morning. Uh, as a matter of fact, my wife was said she was going to come to attend this program, but suddenly she had another call that has made it a bit impossible for her to come because she was part of the whole uh, issue. Professor Fasomade happened to be my co-supervisor for my PhD program. And uh, this happened because I had to work in the area of diabetes. She retired on 25th of April uh, this year. She was 70. And so that, that was my, she, she was my main supervisor. So this morning, 
is also retiring today from the service of the University of Ibada, which means that I might just have likely become an orphan in the University of Ibada. But nonetheless, um, while we were looking for a suitable supervisor, the name of Professor Fasomade came up repeatedly, and uh, my supervisor, my main supervisor, discussed with him, and he took up that responsibility. And the rest, like we say, is history. He did so well with my supervision. I didn't have any troubles. If I had difficulties, I just give a call across to him, and he will respond. Um, I worked with him, sending documents to him uh, online, and he would respond, make corrections, and so on. At that time, I was a lecturer at the Bayodo University, Kano. So you can imagine the distance, but he was able to cope with my sending manuscripts to him online via email, and he would respond and correct my manuscripts and send back to me. And when I was taking data here in the University College Hospital and in and in Bayreuth University, Kano. He, uh, was, uh, I mean, Kano Teaching Hospital. He was always available, giving guides here and there. But then the issue about putting me through did not end with my PhD, as he continued to guide me all through my career and up till this moment. He, I mean, I thank you so much, sir, for all that you have done for me. I am most grateful. Anytime I have to discuss at any endocrinological society program, I make this know very well about Professor uh, Fasal Madi. Thank you most sincerely. So um, once again, on behalf of the provost, the very first female provost of the College of Medicine, University of Ibado, Professor Olayinka Omigwado, I thank you most sincerely and I on a parting note, I recognize all the past provosts who are well seated here this morning. Professor M. T. Shokubi, Professor Omigbodun, Professor Akinika, and Professor Uluabu Miola Padiolaopa, and of course, the former uh, Chief Medical Director, Professor Abi Odun Ilesomi. And uh, let me recognize the former Dean of uh, Basic Medical Sciences, Professor Farumbi. And on a special note, all members of the Diabetes Association of Nigeria, that is the very first direct constituency of Professor Fasomade. Professor Fasomade and I worked directly with um, the Diabetes Association of Nigeria, and I'm so happy to see Alaji Adebola here this morning, who is the current um, chairman, and I can see Alaji, uh, Mr. Adishino, Papa Adishino, among the others, and several other members, including, of course, our very dear uh, ADN Adekoya. Thank you all for your uh, attention, and once again, God bless you, and we hope that today, as we welcome you, Professor Fasobade, into the distinguished um, College of Medicine, University of Ibadan, living legends. Uh, we, are, we have a group of retirees in the college that we call the living legends. We started this about, I think, two years ago. In this group, we have all our retirees put together, and we interact with our retirees. We love them so much, and we want to continue to tap into their wealth of uh, wisdom. Uh, very soon, we are planning, we are looking for a space to create a, a common room for our retirees, whereby they can come into the college at any time they like, request for sectarian services from the staff that will be placed there, and we have all their tasks performed for them. That way, we keep good tab on our retirees. And very soon, while we are looking for a space to do that, we have a WhatsApp platform, and I believe if Professor Fasomadi has not been added to that group, we are going to get to add him to that group, and all the living legends we have the opportunity to welcome the, him into their folds. Once again, thank you very much, and God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. Can I please bring forward to the chairs in front, former Dean, 
Faculty of Clinical Sciences, Professor Mayowa Oolabi. Please a round of applause for him as he comes forward to one of the cheap seats in front. I'd also like to recognize the presence of Professor K.O. Oshungbade, Professor Obafagade, is this here? I saw him a while ago. Wow, okay. Um, Professor Yemi Akinimade, Professor Iwalewa, please a round of applause for him. <laughs> Professor Adara Moye, he'll be giving an inaugural lecture soon. No? Please a round of applause for him as well. We will now take the comments, the goodwill messages from the Dean, Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences, Professor Oye. Please a round of applause for her as she walks majestically to the podium. The chairman of this occasion, good morning once again, sir. The special guest of honor, ably represented my own vice chancellor, all members of the high table, especially our guest speaker. My elders in the Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences, in the College of Medicine, and across University of Ibadan. My colleagues, ladies and gentlemen who are here seated, I warmly welcome you to this great event at the Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences. My Lord Bishop, sir, welcome, sir. In a very warm way, I welcome my chaplain, chaplain of Chapel of the Resurrection, Venerable Dr. V.I. Oladele. And of course, my assistant chaplain one, Reverend Titus Oluwalusi. All members of the Chapel of the Resurrection, you are warmly welcome. And members of the Diabetic Association of Nigeria. Egbon Fasomade and his beautiful wife. Congratulations. Egbon Fasomade, your defined qualities and nature became known to me sometime late in 1986, specifically in November 1986. However, I became very close to you when Mr. Ojo Fasun of the Department of Chemical Pathology took me to your office, that bungalow behind the workshop of the uh, Department of Biochemistry. I was looking for a spectrophotometer to use for my work. And Mr. Ojofaso introduced me to you. That was 36 years ago. Until date, we have remained very close, both in the faculty and in the Chapel of Resurrection. Egbonfagade, thank you very much for always being there to give us counsel as an elder in the faculty. We appreciate you for your help always, both at the College of Medicine and of course in the University College Hospital. Your calmness and gentle disposition, availability in instances of increased responsibilities surpasses all. You are always there for one and for all. Thank you for, me, for your incredible contributions to our faculty 
College of Medicine, the University, and University College Hospital. According to your life policy, you are leaving us better than you met us in 1983. Omoi Oni bata kero kalo kabo lono adura. As you are retiring today, we pray for more grace for you in retirement. Igba odun odun konio. Thank you very much, Ma. We really appreciate it. Uh, we will go straight to. Uh, the goodwill message by the president of the Physiological Society of Nigeria, Professor A. R. A. Alada. Please, a round of applause for him as he comes forward. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, sir, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, well, let me start by saying that I have a mixed feeling. On one hand, I'm very happy that uh, we are celebrating a renowned scholar, Professor Soji Fasamade, on his retirement and his birthday. But on another hand, considering the situation that we find ourselves in the university today, we have a generation that is moving or receding very fast. And the university is being left afloat. We don't know where we are going. It's so quite surprising and interesting to know that Professor Fasamade has spent 41 years plus in the Department of Physiology. Our time moves very fast. But one feels happy on this type of occasion because in the society, we have lost two people this year in the physiological society. And that's not the kind of thing we want to celebrate. We want to celebrate our colleagues when they are alive. And so I'm very happy that today we are all celebrating Professor Fasamadi. Congratulations, sir. Of course, uh, Professor Fosamade in the society, I have a lot to say about him, but because of time, I will shorten whatever I have to say. Now, in the society, like you all know, he's one of our elders. He's well recognized. He's well-known prolific scholar, a, 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 a very, very uh, distinguished researcher, a teacher of teachers. He has produced so many students who are themselves teachers, who are also well-known dis distinguished scholars. And so he's well recognized. Definitely we will miss his contribution at our society meetings. And this is what is happening almost every time. You know, there's, this year we have about seven of them retiring. And that gives us a lot of worry. And I believe that uh, even though they are retiring, they are not tired, they will continue to attend our meetings and continue to make their contributions. But most importantly, as a member of staff of the Department of Physiology, I can say one or two things about Professor Fosamade too. Of course, you all know he's an easygoing person, an amiable person, a very unassuming person. Despite his strong social 
and uh, scientific network, you will never know. It helps a lot. You hardly go to Professor Fasamade and it will not help you. But one thing I must say, when I joined the department in about 37 years ago, and up to the very moment, we see him as the bridge between the whole generals and the younger ones. And it was easier for us to go and meet Professor Fasamade than rather to go and meet Professor Ebola or Professor Legbe or any of them. Because those ones, we, are, we consider them as lions. So, <laughs> so Professor Fasamade was more or less the lamb that was easy for everybody. So you see everybody go to him, and that has always been him. He's an easy person to reach, and he's always willing to help in many ways. But most importantly, uh, the, 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 the syndrome of Jakpa is not new. It's not new. Professor Fasamade had the opportunity to leave the country because things have started going bad from a long time. It's not new. And each time he goes away, even though we would think he won't come back, he will still come back. I think his love for this university is legendary. I think we should appreciate that. <laughs> and it's a lesson for many of the younger ones. You know, he's a very committed person and very persevering, you know. If you come to the department, and I'm saying this because I know the vice chancellor is sitting down, that things are so bad. In our department, out of a staff strength of about 22, we are just about 11 now. And we are a service department. We service almost all programs in the College of Medicine. And like the HOD said, there was a time we were even fewer, and we had to do all the work. So he is a physiologist. By excellence, he's a physiologist to the core, physiologist to the core, and we all appreciate him. You know, we hope as he's retiring, he will not be tired. We will still be able to find the service available, and I hope this is a, at a, this point the university will also take the initiative, because I can see quite a lot of our teachers here sitting down today, and they are looking well and good. I want to believe those who are not tired can still make contribution as an interim measure Why, you know, the university and the federal government is trying to find a way out. Definitely the university is collapsing. Nobody can deny that. And a lot of things are wrong. And we should begin to tell ourselves the truth, you know, from here to the powers that be. So this is a great opportunity for us. We thank uh, Professor Fasabade for all the services he has rendered to the university, to the society, and uh, that we continue to appreciate you. We pray that you will live long in peace and happiness, and that uh, all your effort, all your labor will not be wasted. Of course, you are already seeing the fruits of your labor in front of you now. We will achieve more. Thank you very much. A round of applause for him once again. Allow me to recognize the presence of uh, a former dean, Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences, Professor O. G. Ademowo. Please a round of applause for him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there have been 12 provosts from inception to date in the College of Medicine. 12. It is very difficult to find people who have worked with all of the provost till date. Ladies and gentlemen, our celebrant of today, Professor Fasamade, has worked with all of them. Please a round of applause for him. And to speak. And to speak on behalf of the provosts, allow me to bring to the podium a legend in our faculty. Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences, Professor M. T. Shokumbi, to speak on behalf of the former provost. Please, a round of applause for him as he comes forward.
I had to ask for the permission of the provost sitting next to me to speak on their behalf. Um, and I'm sure those who are not here would assent to the permission given by those who are here. Um, yes, I'd like to abbreviate the protocols, but I, I really can't go on without having a respectful shout out to the chairman, Professor Akonde, the foundation provost, the provost who employed me. <clears throat> In November 1980, uh, fresh from youth corps, uh, university was an interesting place in those days. Um, I had exchanged letters with Professor Desalu that I wanted to be a surgeon scientist. I don't know where the idea came from, but there it was. Um, he wrote me a beautiful letter, handwritten. I, I have uh, the letter till today, my files telling me that the anatomy department is the place to come to. And um, after youth call, got back to Ibadan, drove straight to anatomy department. And I said, I've arrived from youth call. And he said, are you really serious? You want to come to anatomy? I said, yes. He said, OK, there's a piece of paper. Write an application and send your CV. Of course, I had a copy of my CV, which I immediately gave to him. And one week later, I was a temporary lecturer too in the Department of Anatomy. Because uh, we had a very proactive dean at the time. And um, we also had a foundation provost who was keen to develop the newly founded College of Medicine. So Professor Akonde, thank you very much. And, uh, also, I must recognize the celebrant, Professor Sajifa Samade, and his lovely wife. And of course, um, our vice chancellor, who is represented by the Dean of Arts. And um, the indefatigable deputy provost, who is representing the energetic, passionate, and equally indefatigable provost of the College of Medicine. And of course, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, everyone has extolled the virtues of Professor Fasomade and commented most generously and appropriately on his contributions to the College of Medicine. But there are one or two things that most people may not know about, and I would like to comment on those now, um, because they're not really personal, they're institutional, and they would clearly form into, fall into the remits of a goodwill message delivered on behalf of former provosts. When I returned after training to Ibadan in 1987, we didn't have a training program a postgraduate training program as such. The postgraduate school had reviewed its uh, guidelines and curriculum. And if you were going to train people at master's and PhD levels, you needed to have a master's program. So even though the department had produced PhDs in the past, uh, Professor Disalu himself, Professor Gunaike, uh, Dr. Akintola Odutola, I uh, believe Professor Caxton Martins, the late Professor Caxton Martins, and a few others. But we couldn't do that anymore because we didn't have an MSc program. In fact, shortly before I arrived, uh, Dr. Onyi Ibiwoye, who was um, already in the department, I think he came in about 1984-85, had to study for an MSc in the Department of Physiology. And I thought, why should we have 
a department of anatomy without an MSc program. And we had an ally in Professor Fasomadi. Onyi and myself walked over to him and said, you have to help us. We must start a master's program in this department. And he, first he made us feel at ease. He made us feel welcome. He told us it wasn't a huge task. He gave us a template and helped Onyi and myself to develop the template that we eventually submitted to the postgraduate school that ultimately led to the establishment of an MSc program in the Department of Anatomy. And so for the graduates of the Department of Anatomy who have MSc, PhD and all of that, this is the man who made that possible. It wasn't just the fact that you helped us with the program, and it wasn't just the fact that you helped us to develop it. It was also the way you made Oye and myself feel in the process of writing up the proposal. I think it was uh, Maya Angelou who said that um, people may forget what you did to them, they may forget what you say to them, but they hardly ever forget how you make them feel. And Professor Fasomadi made Oye and myself feel like brothers in the same boat that needed to solve a problem. And the rest, as they say, is history. So Professor Fasomadi, thank you very much for playing such an important role in the establishment of uh, the postgraduate program in the Department of Anatomy that's produced hundreds of MSCs and a handful of PhDs to today. And the program is growing bigger and bigger. Um, people from other medical schools with a first degree in anatomy are coming to our department as a finishing school for their graduate work and to move on to other areas. So thank you very, very much for that institutional building bit of it. The second thing that I would like to comment upon um, is the fact that you are part of what now appears to be a shrinking tribe of joint appointees in the College of Medicine. There are few people who are in that category. I count myself fortunate to be part of your tribe. There are a few others, people who have appointments across two separate departments, uh, principally out of interest, but also out of need sometimes. But it would appear that recent developments in the ambience of medical education regulation may make the need uh, more important, and hopefully the tribe will grow. I think it's important for that tribe to grow because it fosters collaboration and um, it's an important seed to plant if you want to grow the tree of translational medicine research. So as you retire today from the College of Medicine, I join everyone in congratulating you and your family, in wishing you well for the future. But I also would like to tell your wife this, that a retired husband is often a wife's full-time job. And also tell you that retirement is a time to do what you want to do, when you want to do it, where you want to do it, and how you want to do it. It's a wonderful thing to be getting into because you can, for a change, do nothing without worrying about getting caught at it. And Yes, retirement brings you to the end of something, but I must tell you that it is a great opportunity for it to be the beginning of something else. And knowing who you are, a humble, relentless, passionate, dogged human being, there will be other things that you are planning to get on with. And um, with that, on behalf of the Provost, I wish you well in this next phase of your life. And I join those who uh, wishing you this entry into the club of retirees, uh, a good time in that club. 
I encourage uh, the prospective retirees, many of whom are in this room, including myself, uh, to, to not have any cause for worry with that sort of class uh, waiting to receive us. We just pray for good health and good life, both physical, cognitive, and emotional, to take us to where we are. Thank you. Much, sir. May we all retire well without wasting too much of our time. We'll go straight to the lecture of today. Um, but before the guest lecturer comes forth, um, may I respectfully request that the guest lecturer please stand as his citation is read. Lukeman. Olayaki is a professor in the Department of Physiology, College of Health Sciences, University of Iloring. Iloring. His area of research includes the study of antioxidant agents, especially melatonin, medicinal plants, and environmental agents on the endocrine, mainly diabetes mellitus, and reproductive systems. He bagged his MBBS degree from Ahmad Bello University, Zaria, in 1998, and proceeded to the University of Lagos, where he obtained his MSc in Reproductive Physiology in 2004. Professor Olayaki was granted University Staff Development Award to undertake his doctoral training in the University of Illinois and obtained the PhD degree in 2011. He has served the University of Illinois in various capacities, such as the Subdean, Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences, College of Health Sciences, University of Illinois, from 2006 to 2012, Head, Department of Physiology, College of Health Sciences, from 2012 to 2014 in the same university. Professor Olayaki had a stint in tissue culture training at the School of Medical Sciences, Ulster University, Coleraine, North Ireland, United Kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the guest lecturer of today, Professor L. A. Olayaki. The special guest of honor and the chairman of this occasion, uh, a professor of many firsts, a chief host, my teachers here present, especially Professor Olaleye and Professor Alada, our president. Professors here present, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Lastly, the celebrant and his wife, my mentor. Before I start my notes this morning, I want to say a few words about what the HOD earlier said uh, with respect to my invitation to University of Ibadan. The department and the celebrant asked me whether to secure accommodation for me for today's uh, event and I refused that. The main reason for that was the fact that I believe ordinarily I should have been a member of the organizing committee, but probably because of the distance, I'm not a member of the committee. So I see it as a way of contributing to the event. And secondly, it's a known fact that the University of Illinois was given birth to by the University of Ibadan. Thirdly, my department, Department of Physiology, has benefited a lot from the Department of Physiology, University of Ibadan, with mentoring and uh, 
lecturing and supervision of students of our department, as evidenced by Professor Lale and Professor Alada. And that tradition is continued with Professor Onasanwo, who has also been of uh, assistance to our department, University of Philori. And lastly, if I can recollect correctly, I remember Professor Umigodun was once a guest lecturer at one of our programs at the University of Philori, when a set of medical students were having their graduation ceremony. So I start my lecture, which I titled A Note of Gratitude to My Mentor. I'm honored and humbled for the privilege to say a few words about my mentor, an accomplished physician, an academic giant, a complete gentleman, and a scholar of international repute, in person of Professor Adesoji Fasamade. This is a rare opportunity for me to publicly express my profound gratitude to my mentor, who has played a major role in my academic journey. My first encounter with Professor Fasmadi was in 2009, when he came to the Department of Physiology, University of Philorani for the first professional MBBS examination as an external examiner. As it is the practice in our department, whoever is chosen as the examination coordinator is expected to be in charge of the movement, accommodation, and feeding of the external examiner. Such an arrangement made the coordinator to work closely with the external examiner. When Professor Fasmade came around, I interacted closely with him and immediately took interest in my academic progress. He asked about my academic activities and I informed him that I was on the PhD program. In subsequent years and at several meetings, Professor Fasmade would ask and call to know about my progress and advised me that I should be focused on my academic work. At the time I met Professor Asmadi Professor in 2009, I was a young lecturer at the university. However, I was contemplating whether to change course or not for two main reasons. The first reason was the fact that at the time I met Professor Asmadi, I was about 10 years post-graduation from medical school, and my salary was almost equivalent to that of medical interns, which was quite frustrating. And secondly, my university at that time has just given approval for doctors in basic medical sciences department who intended to pursue residency program to do so. Each at all, medical doctors have to resign their appointments in basic medical sciences department before they could go for residency training. I decided to remain in the physiology department after all for two main reasons. The first was the encouragement from Professor Fasmadi, who regularly called to advise I continue my career in basic medical science. The second reason was the presence of many friends that I have within the university community and in the, teacher, in the sister teaching hospital who made the otherwise depressing environment uplifting. Then in December 2011, precisely between 4th and 11th of December, at the World Diabetes Congress organized by International Diabetes Federation in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. I met Professor Fasmadi at the venue of the Congress, the International Conference Center in Dubai. His disposition towards me was cordial, and this created a congenial company. He reviewed my poster presentation and made encouraging comments. He also suggested better design methods for future research work. On the second day of the Congress, Professor Fasmadi asked me to accompany him for a lunch at the Pamdera area of Dubai, where he was residing. Coincidentally, it happened that my hotel was a stone throw from East. The routine for most of our stay in Dubai was, pro was for Professor Vazmade to go to the same restaurant for a lunch. I usually took what our white prof took his meal, having already taken the meal provided at the conference venue. I remember that two staff of University College Hospital Ibadan, I cannot recollect their name, a dietitian and a nutritionist also came for the conference. In fact, one of the, uh, one of the two 
had a lot of load that I had to assist, I had to bring some of them back to Nigeria with the intervention of Professor Asamade. At the Congress in Dubai, I observed the broad knowledge and wide travel experience of Professor Asamade closely. One particular experience readily comes to my mind. At the end of a day meeting, while participants were taking light dinner, as it is the usual practice in such international meetings, the president-elect of the International Diabetes Federation strolled to our stand and we were chatting. Professor Vasmade and the president-elect of IDF talked about their experiences in the United Kingdom health system. After the president-elect left our stand, I asked Prof where the man was from, and the reply that is a Scottish from the United Kingdom, which was obvious from his accent. I was surprised that at that time, even up to this moment, I can hardly distinguish a Scottish from a non-Scottish English speaker of the United Kingdom. But Professor Madi, for Professor First Madi to have been able to differentiate a Scottish accent from a non-Scottish accent, that demonstrated his wide travel experience. In my academic career, Professor Smade has contributed tremendously to my progress and fulfillment. Even though I've never been his direct student, either at undergraduate or postgraduate level, he is a person I call a mentor without any form of reservation. I have undoubtedly benefited from his words of encouragement, guidance, and several opportunities provided at every stage of, a, of my academic career. He has been an invaluable source of support in my career development. In the early stage of my career, his advice and encouragement no doubt contributed to my decision to remain in the basic medical science department of physiology. In the latter stage of my career, he continues to guide me and provide valuable advice from time to time. One assignment cherished by academics is to be invited as external examiners by other universities. This provides opportunity for us to compare notes while the examiner makes suggestions on how the inviting students can improve their curriculum, the examiner can also learn a team or two from the host institution. Professor Samade has helped along this line by facilitating my invitations to many universities in the country. For this, I'm eternally grateful. Professor Samade's love for basic medical science and clinical practice has made him to traverse several countries and several universities in Nigeria and many countries of the world, such as, such as Fiji Islands, the United Kingdom, the United States of America, and others, to impact knowledge on students and provide medical care to people. At the 40th Annual Scientific Conference and Annual General Meeting of the Physiological Society of Nigeria, held in Ibadan, earlier this year, precisely in February, in this same hall, he revealed another facet of his love for academic. He informed us that he left private medical practice in Lagos to take up appointment at the University of Ibadan with a salary drop of about 50%. This was a clear demonstration of someone who was determined to contribute to research and knowledge. It is my belief that he was able to subtly persuade me to remain in physiology because of his own personal experience of placing research and knowledge over immediate material gains. Even on the verge of retirement, Professor Smade has been active in the training of postgraduate students. As recent as January this year, some of his students defended their thesis. These actions clearly show that his passion for knowledge and research is as intense as it was decades after he left Lagos for Ibadan. It gladdens my heart that Professor Smade eventually accomplished the feat of rising to the peaks of his career in both basic medical science and clinical practice. He is a professor of physiology and a consultant physician. In all the fora that Professor Asmade and I happen to be members, he has always had a moderate view on issues, while he states his positions firmly, clearly, and without being hurtful. In concluding my note of gratitude to Professor Asmadi, I know him to be a proud cultural ambassador of Nigeria, as can be seen from the picture we took in Dubai. 
he wore our native clothes with pride. And I must also add that as an Ibomina man, I used to think we are the people who cherish Pandarian most until I met Professor Swazimade. In fact, our people have Oriki for Pandarian. Many of us would have heard Inye Wudo Domu Odotun. However, when I met Professor Swazimade, I realized that we, it, it even has more, it, it, it takes Pandarian much more than an Ibomina man. So, Professor Swazimade pride in our culture is not only in his dressing, but equally in his preference for our native food. As Professor Asmade bows out of service, my prayer is that we shall have more of his type in our university system, and I pray that God Almighty grant you sound earth to enjoy the deserved post retirement rest. However, if Professor Asmade decides to be in active academic activity and clinical practice, I have no doubt that humanity will continue to benefit from its wealth of knowledge and skill. Thanks for your attention. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for the beautiful lecture. Professor Fasomade, the scholar, the encourager, a colossus of physiology, and a lover of pounded yam. Please, a round of applause for Professor Fasomade. We will now take the second round of goodwill messages and comments on the lecture. But before we do that, I would like to recognize um, the presence of Professor A. O. Malomo. Please, a round of applause for him from the Department of um, Religious Studies, University of Ibadan. I'd like to recognize the presence of Professor Olubayo Obijole. Please a round of applause for him. Also amongst us is Dr. Fakunle, uh, for my head, Department of uh, Dietics, University College Hospital, Ibadan. Thank you very much, and finally, there is a black Hyundai. If you brought a black Hyundai, please go outside. Somebody is removing the tire. LSR620DK. Your attention is needed outside. Black Hyundai. Thank you very much. Your attention is needed outside. Um, shall we take goodwill messages? And um, I would like to, goodwill messages and testimonies and um, on, um, on the celebrant of today. And I'd like to start with uh, Reverend Ade Jumobi. Is he here? Please, a round of applause for him. Please, one minute, sir. Just one minute. Thank you very much, sir. I am Reverend Jonathan Adegoki, Adejuma, the member of the Chapel of the Resurrection, the Church of Professor Fasamadi. I'm very sure many people will want to give a similar testimony, like mine, because Professor Fasamadi has touched the lives of myriads of people for good. So I consider this a rare privilege. I interacted with him during a severe stage of depression, so severe that I was afraid to step out of my house and contemplated an early retirement. But God used Professor Fasimade to nurture me back to full health. My right leg had become paralyzed and I started limping for months. He, cons he consulted with me everywhere possible, in his office at UI, UCH, even sometimes in the parking lot of the chapel. He explained and treated the medical side of the paralysis. The spiritual part of it was dealt with when I traveled for my vacation. My wife was always with me at every consultation, and at the time it appeared as if he became the consultant of my family 
without charging a cobble. I was afraid to travel because of the depression. But in his very jocular nature, said, Reverend, Shebi, you are not going to Jerusalem, where there are man many mountains to climb. Go on your trip, and the Lord will go with you. On my return, I had stopped limping. On my first visit to UCH at 6.30 a.m. in the morning, I met him helping attendants to distribute cards. One would have thought that he was an attendant, not a top-notch, kind, spirit-filled, first-class professor that he is. What can we do to compliment your enormous sacrifice? Nothing can be enough. So, as you commence your retirement today, sir, we commit you and your family to the divine providence of God, whom you have served faithfully. He will be there for you and yours every inch of your retirement, of your retirement journey, and provide succor, strength, and support for you and your family in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. I have the singular honor of bringing to the podium to speak on behalf of his class, Professor Akenyinka Umi Godun. Please a round of applause for him as he comes to the podium. Class of 1980, MBBS. Let me start by congratulating the celebrant and his wife on this glorious occasion. And also extend courtesy to the Foundation Provost, our Baba, Professor Emeritus Oluwale Akonde, and all other courtesies duly extended. Um, I thank God that I'm able to make these few remarks. And I thank God that several of our classmates are here. We are all seated together here, but I know, um, I mean, Professor Lai Shitu is here, Dr. Dele Agbana, uh, retired uh, Olopa, Dr. Dayo Adeleke, retired as Commissioner of Police. Um, and I think somewhere in the audience there we have Professor Ogunlade. Okay, he's right here. And Professor Venerable Ade Malomo. And many are joining online and watching these proceedings, trying to, to be part of it. Um, Professor Fasomade was actually the first member of our class to join the faculty of the University of Ibadan. But certainly it wasn't the last. Quite a number of us joined the faculty after he did. And he's been teaching in this university for more than 40 years. That is a good chunk of his life. And I'm not surprised at the testimonies that we have heard here today. Because he's somebody who really gives. He, he has a giving nature. I know some of his um, contemporaries at Edo College. I was actually telling one of them that Soji was retiring. And he also had the same testimony to give, that he, Soji is a very generous person. I will just talk about one aspect of him uh, in the interest of time, as it pertains to our class, since I'm speaking on behalf of the class. Our class. MBBS BDS class 1980 
of this university. We, the BDS students in our class were the first to graduate in dentistry from this university. And we were also the very first set. It's, I know it's fashionable now to old reunions, but we were the first set in this college to hold a reunion on the 21st anniversary of our graduation from medical school. Incidentally, I will say the two people who were the key to that event are here in this auditorium. The first is Professor Tayo Shokumbi, who was provost at that time. And the second is Professor Soji Fasamadi. <laughs> Professor Fasamadi did most of the running around for that event. He arranged the program. And needless to say, it was a huge success. And then some Nine years later, Professor Fasamade again was the fulcrum around which our class organized another reunion. Actually, two months ago, Professor Fasamade just walked to my office. Uh, we are on the same floor in the University College Hospital. And he said he had some things to deliver to me. And so we went to his office, and right there, the brochures that were printed for our 30th anniversary reunion, those that remained, were still in Professor Fasomade's office. I had to take delivery of them. I'm still on staff. So those brochures are in my office now. And incidentally, the pictures of all of us at the time we were entering medical school, uh, picture, the passport photographs we took are uh, all in that uh, brochure. It was very interesting looking at them again. So it has been a rallying point, a focal point for our set. And I'm not surprised. I think practically all of us in Ibadan are here today. And I don't have access to know those who are joining online but I know many people will because he is such a good-natured and very accommodating person. As you retire, we give, God, we give God thanks for your life. I know you will continue to give. And, you know, when you give, you also receive. That's the, that's, it's, a, it's a natural law. And so you will continue to receive. I sent a message to you this morning, and I will just wrap up with that message, that you are now entering the dispensation of strength. The Bible says in Psalm 90, verse 10, three score and 10 are our years, if by reason of strength, four score. So you are entering the dispensation of strength. After four score, what is left is grace. And I pray that you will enter the dispensation of grace. God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. To give his own testimony concerning Professor Fasomade, allow me to bring to the podium Professor G. Oh, Adeyemi of the Department of Geology. Please, a round of applause for him as he comes forward. One minute, sir. Thank you, sir. All protocol duly observed. I will briefly read what I wrote. I have known Professor Fasamade through his brother, 
engineer doctor with a fast Since 1987, the erudite professor of medicine and consultant endocrinologist is very humble, friendly, honest, and unassuming. Besides, he is very intelligent and diligent. He is imbued with other known Christian virtues of discipline, godliness, and contentment. He is a good ambassador of the Fasamade royal family of Idole Kichi in Ekiti West local government area. To the best of my knowledge, Professor Stodis Fasamade is a quintessential lecturer and physician. He gives, gives, and gives. In fact, he is a cheerful giver. Um, some years ago, when we had the wake for our mama, the mother of uh, the celebrant, um, Chief Olasope, who was his, uh, you know, one of his uh, patients, made a remark. He said he did not know mama, but because Professor Made was nice, Mama could have also been nice. And you can see that uh, he was right. May God continue to be there for him and perfect all that concerns him and his loved ones as he retires from the service of the University of Ibadan. I wish him, his wife, and all members of his family abundant grace of the almighty God. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Can we have a representative of the Diabetes Association of Nigeria to give their goodwill message for Professor Fasamadi? A representative of the Diabetes Association of Nigeria. Please come forward, sir. Thank you very much, sir. A round of applause as he comes forward, please. Chief Adeyinka, are you here? Please, a round of applause for Chief Adeyinka as he comes forward to speak on behalf uh, of the Diabetes Association of Nigeria. Thank you very much, sir. Please, sir, one minute of one minute. Not one minute of a million minutes. Sir. Good morning. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I must to speak about our amiable boss, Professor Fasamadi. My name is Chief Adeyinka. I am the former chairman of the Diabetes Association of Nigeria, or your state. The vice president for the Southwest. Uh, I will speak in Yoruba. Because all of us are Yoruba here. Baba Fasamade, Oja in your long, me or maybe most of us you wear. On to se for one UCH, could this end to say, if I profess one long day one day, one Tori Wara, can it tell him what you need eight million for Dan, ni UCH, oh one bye bye. Opalopo enti ba ti ku ni Olorun lo won fun fun o owo ara won won ma fi se nkan ti e ba size by professor fasan made ni odi la ma wa file yi yo mu lo do doctor loju mi o ti e mo se le soto 
You pay Columba and do it here to another boating law. Oh, send can laugh for a double assistant. Nina, Giria, Tin Southwest. Along Lopa for a book, but you could have no could you can't go at my low water. Let you feel out before because you want to see Professor Asmadeki, you learn you see it. Let me go a lesson. See, and the cabade writing about the proof by one of them. One was your word. Bob Bontoba, you can't say one say, me or Mammutel, quality, quality, fine water. You pay a long while, what we do, my lord. And so, thank you very much, sir. I would like to call on the president, Morning Star Society of the Chapel of the Resurrection, Professor Sunji Akande, to come and give his goodwill message. Please a round of applause as he comes forward. One minute, please. Professor Sunji Akande appears to be represented by Professor Olabode Lucas. Please a round of applause for Professor Lucas as he comes to the podium. Thank you. Well, I speak on behalf of the Resurrection Morning Star of the Chapel of the Resurrection. I speak on behalf of our legend in the society, Professor Sochi Basamati. In the society is our chronica. Is the one who reminds us about our bad day. Is our T, uh, IT guru. Is the one who do the zoo for us at our meeting. And is a, is a recruiter for our membership. Is the one who has expanded. Is everything you can think about in that society. To me, there is no saint in the world anywhere. But I think somebody closest to be a saint is Professor Sergi Pastor Madi. I would like to read what my reply to somebody from a blogger who wrote about Professor Pastor Madi. Please give me one minute. At any this thing can be. At any rate, what I said was that see is a man diligent in his work. He shall stand before king and not before me men. It is in the proverb. Professor Fast America, although he's a member of the royalty, he can stand before king and anybody. He's a member of royalty because his father is a royal father. He too is from a legendary family. We may not know the sister, Lady Gibowu, the first graduate, female graduate in West Africa in biological science. This is the sister. So it's a combination of academic progress and royalty. He has helped many people. Personally, he has helped me. He has helped my wife. He has said my mother-in-law. I thank you for the thing you have done for us. May God continue to be with you. You have retired from UI, but you have not retired from every humanity. And we thank you. God bless you and your wife. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Professor Fasomade has not only impacted people here in Ibadan, but even in a sister university, very close by, allow me to bring to the podium from Olabisi Onobanjo University, Dr. E. O. Taiwo, to bring his goodwill message from the Department of Physiology there. Please a round of applause for Dr. Taiwo as he comes. Good afternoon, everybody. Allow me to stand on the existing protocol. I bring 
greetings from the Department of Physiology, who is the daughter uh, to Physiology and UI. Because most of the uh, lecturers, they are, they are offshoots from the Department of Physiology. Yeah. So I would like to congratulate uh, Professor Fasamade. Uh, I've known Professor Fasamade since uh, 1983 when I was admitted here yeah, to read medicine in uh, the College of Medicine here. Yeah. He was a lecturer, a uh, junior lecturer, teaching us respective uh, physiology then. So then when I graduated in 1988, I was opportunity to uh, know him. Then when I came for master's in physiology here, yeah, and I finished 209, he was one of my lecturers. Then, when I was doing my MD, Dr. Bexton, he, he was my supervisor there. So, we, he is a father to me, a brother, and he's also a father of a doctor. He, uh, his daughter just graduated from Malawi Solomonio uh, just last week. Can, can we give a round of applause for my mentor? So it's also a counselor. It's a counselor. Because when I was doing my MD, it was the one. We were interacting like a father to son. So it's always there for me. So the, I'm giving greetings from, uh, because I've been through him, I was able to be, uh, all the lecturers in physiology, they've come one, uh, one time or the other to be uh, external um, examiner. So, Professor Ile, uh, Pro, uh, Professor Yebola, Professor Raji, they all come to, uh, to do uh, external examiner in this place. So um, I would like to congratulate once again my, because Professor Asana is soft-spoken, humble, hardworking, and thorough, because he's only thorough in anything he does. I will, and I will pray that as he retire, God will continue to strengthen him and bless him in all his endeavor. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. We will take the last goodwill message from one of Professor Fasamade's patients, Mrs. Oketade. Please, a round of applause as she comes forward to give her goodwill message concerning Professor Fasamade. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm so excited to be here this afternoon. With the health challenges, I shouldn't be here. But knowing that someone whom God has used for me to be alive today, He's clocking 70. I said I must be here. And I thank God that he reached the age of that 70. Sir, it's a privilege. Many people tried, you know, organize party, everything to be 70. And before you know what happens, just a few days, they are gone. But to God be the glory, sir, that you are here today to celebrate. I really thank God for his wife too. They have been so marvelous. I could not say it all. I went through a lot of health challenges. But to God be the glory. He's always there. God will honor you, sir. The Lord will strengthen you. You are retiring, but you will still be useful in this medical field in the social field, in the name of Jesus. Spiritually, you have been there. I remember I had a problem with people, you know, with that problem, they all usually amputate. 
Immediately I just went to him. I said, I don't know. It seems there is a lump on my thigh. Oh, he got up, got me fixed with the professor who is in charge in emergency, and immediately the problem was solved that it did not develop to whereby my leg will be amputated. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, help me to worship the name of the Lord for Professor Fasamade retiring faithfully today to the glory and honor of the name of the Lord. Even as the word of God has said, I want to read it for you, sir so that you'll be able to know that God is faithful on your behalf because you have labored in the vineyard of the Lord. There's nothing better for a man than that he should eat and drink and that he should make his soul enjoy good in his labor. That I was, that is from the hand of God. Sir, you will eat the good of your labor in the name of Jesus. Over your children, you will eat the good of your labor. Over mommy, you will eat the good of your labor. Congratulations. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much, Ma. Allow me to bring to the podium to perform a rite, some may call it a ritual, that is often performed for our living legends in the College of Medicine. To explain better, allow me to bring here the Provost, College of Medicine, University of Ibadan, Professor Olayinka Omegwadu, who is being ably represented by the Deputy Provost, Professor Fatai. Adini, please a round of applause as he comes forward. Um, well, uh, dear sir, uh, please, um, I would like to respectfully call you to the center stage here, sir. Come along with your amiable wife. And... Um, With due respect, sir, I would like to invite the uh, Foundation Provost of the College of Medicine, who is the chairman of today's occasion, to join us in this exercise. On behalf of the Provost of the College of Medicine, University of Ibadan, Professor Olainka Omigwado, I hereby today welcome you into the community of the College of Medicine, University of Ibadan, living legends. And uh, I so decorate you on behalf of the Provost of the College of Medicine, University of Ibadan. So, um, dear sir, you kindly assist me to this, sir. Then we have this token as a show of our appreciation to you. And I read, Happy congratulations, Professor Adesoji Fasomadi, on your 70th birthday and formal retirement from the service of the College of Medicine, University of Ibadan. We are profoundly grateful to you and wish you abundant happiness in this new season 
of your life. Ola Inka O Omigwadu, Professor of Psychiatry and Provost on behalf of the College of Medicine, University of Ibadan. Today, 3 July 2023. Congratulations, sir. Prof, please don't leave. Sir. Professor Vasamadi, please don't leave. Don't leave. To so also uh, present to Professor Vasamadi from the faculty, allow me to bring forward the Dean, Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences, Professor Oyerunke, or don't allow to give her presentation. Please, a round of applause for her, please. I wish to kindly request Professor Parumbi, Professor Ademowo, please join us, and Professor Lale. Professor Ademowo, Professor Parumbi, I think he has uh, stepped out. Professor Fa uh, Ademowo, please join us. The Dean, on behalf of the Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences, presents this award to Professor A.A. Fasombadi on the occasion of your 7th birthday and retirement from the services of the University of Ibadan. Today, 3rd July 2023, we appreciate your immense contributions to the faculty and we wish you abundant happiness and more grace in return. Congratulations, sir. Prof, you can't leave here too. Professor Pasamante, you can't leave here too. The Department of Physiology that you have diligently served for 83 to now is uh, 40 years. 40 years and 6 months. 41 years. You have diligently served for 41 years. Have a presentation for you, sir. I will hand over the microphone to the head of department, Department of Physiology, to do the presentation. Professor S. B. Olala, over to you, sir. Thank you very much. While they are bringing a small token from the bottom of our hearts. I told the MC that he had called everybody to come and give one testimony or the other. We cannot stop talking about Professor Fasamade as far as this department is concerned. And I'm sure that also applies to uh, the Department of Medicine. But let me just say this. Um, before we do the presentation, is somebody that actually uh, withstands any form of stress to help another person. I could remember specifically July 1989. I was going to come to collect 
a master's degree form in the Department of Physiology. It's 990, yes. And I was going to have three people to serve as referees for the MSc form. In the department, I met two of my lecturers. And I was going to look for one of the professors. Professor Alada said something earlier that struck my mind. He said, at that time, we had lions. Because you could not go to the lions, you have to approach the lamb. I was going to get the head of the department at that time to sign as the third referee for the... That time, one, some, one of the things we don't know as lecturers is that you don't know the kind of rigor and uh, stress that I mean, young people go through in trying to get you to sign one form or the other. So I was interested in one of the professors signing my form that as if that one would be the one that will facilitate my admission. And Professor Fasumade, that time Dr. Fasumade, I told him I want to go to this person. He said, he's also going there. And he carried me. I will not forget that Passat, blue. That Passat, blue Passat. And he carried me. I was going to return to Sokoto that day. And he said, look, you, are, you can't afford to me miss your transport. Let me carry you to his house. And he carried me. Upon getting to the lion's house, it was like I committed, he committed a crime. He was, he may have forgotten this, but I've, I will never forget. He was dressed down from the beginning to the end. Why you should carry this boy to my house to come and sign form? If you could not wait in the office, then that, that he should go. And he was defending. As the man was talking, Professor Fasomade was defending. No, he wasn't the one that wanted to come. I was the one that said, he said, why should you bring him? And it was such that situation. Today, he is still performing that role of intermediary. And I pray. The lions then are, are now lambs in our hand. We are now the lions. I say it. We are now the lions. And when we see those lions, then we just laugh. Ah, share, you know, me. Thank God, Professor Fasomade is not a lion. And it will always be accessible. So on behalf of all students and staff of the Department of Physiology, we want to appreciate you, sir. And this is just from the bottom of our hearts. It's a small token, sir. And the chairman of the ceremonial committee is making the presentation, but I will want all our members of the Department of Physiology, led by Professor A. R. Alada, the most senior professor in the department, to be joined by Professor Y. Raji and all the staff that are here to come forward in honor of this great man. Yes, and non-academic staff. Wherever you are, just join us. God bless you. MC said I'm missing him. MC join them. We recognize the grace of God in the life of Professor Adesoji Adesipoe Fasomade. And we pray that God will continue to be with you. He will continue to take care of you and all that are yours.
Thank you very much, sir. Prof, please don't leave, sir. Your cardiac output will not reduce on standing, sir. Another set of students or another set of people want to recognize you and appreciate you for your good works over the years. This set of people are special. They are your mentees. And you can see that they have been lovely attired. Some of them are here today representing everybody that you have taught over the years. Allow me to bring to the podium Dr. Tokwe Adedeji to do the presentation from the mentees of Professor Adesoji Fasomadi. Please a round of applause for them as they come forward in their colorful attire. The chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are the tribute. You know, everybody has given tribute because he affected their lives in one way or the other. But you see, we here are the actual tribute. I, Dr. Temitokwe Adidi, I am a tribute. So just before we make this presentation, there's something I want to tell Prof that he has never heard. When I first came into UI, and then I met Professor Pasamadi. No one knew who I actually was. I was this um, young man who had wasted about a lot of, a large part of his life. And then I was, I just had my first degree at 30 years. In Nigeria, that amounts to almost a failure. I was also pretty um, stubborn. I was very arrogant. So what I needed, what I realized early on was that what I needed was not a supervisor. What I needed was a guide. I needed a mentor, someone who would help to transform me and help me to be able to learn how to live in a way that would follow the norms of the society. Here then came in Professor Fasamadi. When I met him, it was my first introduction to him was in class. And I remember that it was the way he taught. It was the way he related. It was the way he practically was living as the representation of the kind of things that I wanted to be that wasn't at that point in time. Fast forward a couple of years after, I became his um, PhD student. And then um, slowly over time, I found out that it was not that he was trying to teach me anything. It was an embodiment of it. So over time, I just kind of like, I just developed the characteristics. The frank truth is that where I am today, what I am today, is because I had a good guide and a mentor and not a supervisor. You know, this story might sound a little dramatic, but all of us have individual stories that are just like that. And if we had time and we all had to spell it out, you understand that Professor Fasomadi was a life changer to many of us. He practically reformed us. And then he made us successful. That part I like. I like money a lot. So he totally made us also very successful. So today we are here to honor him. Being not just a supervisor, he was a mentor. And he helped us to make money. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you for everything. As you retire, we pray that you will continue to impact lives. You will continue to touch even more people. And God will give you the grace that these um, years of retirement will be the best years ever. Thank you very much, sir. So we're making these presentations um, just a small 
token to show how much we care about Professor Fasamadi and how much he has touched our life. Thank you, everybody, for coming around to watch. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bro, sir, this almost makes me remember when the VC had to shake everybody during... Do, no, you can't, start, you can't sit down now, sir. Reminds me of when the VC has to shake everybody during uh, convocation, and he stands there for hours. Allow me to bring forward again to show their appreciation. The resident doctors, the residents of from Internal Medicine University College Hospital, being represented by Dr. Ori Molade. Please, a round of applause as she comes forward to make her presentation. Prof, they are beside you, sir. Good day, everyone. We are the residents from Internal Medicine Department, um, University College Hospital, Ibadan. And on behalf of we, your students, sir, we are so grateful. We appreciate your kindness, your warmness, your acceptance, and your commitment to our training. Everything said, there is just a little of what most of us know of you. We appreciate you, and we present it to you on the occasion of your 70th birthday and your retirement. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. <sighs> Prof, let's exercise a little, sir. You know, cardiac output has, must not reduce. <laughs> to coordinate the cake cutting is no other person than the Reverend Professor Samuel Babafemi Olale, the head department of physiology. University of Ibadan. A round of applause as he comes to coordinate the kick cutting procedure. Um, actually, when we have Baba Konde around, I always, I'm always afraid of bringing him to stand up every time. But we have to do that. Maybe the last time. Oh no, second to the last because he will still give the chairman's closing remarks. But Baba will uh, help us to lead them uh, at the cake stand. And we will do it this way. We, we have a template that we follow. In, you know, we in physiology, we do things physiologically. <laughs> so we have a template we follow. Um, Professor M.T. Shokumbi will represent all the former provosts, the, all the former provosts that are here to join them at the cake cutting. Professor Akin Kaumibodi will represent the classmates. I, I do not want to bring Babo Shwade up because there is a, there is a younger, more thing. I don't want to use some languages that will make me to be as if I'm discriminating. I want Baba Oshwade to just sit down. Let Baba Bishop Akeola come forward to represent the clergy. Yes. And the chairman of the Diabetes Association of Nigeria, we also join them. That's why I say we, do, we have a template. We do things physiologically. Please encourage him as he comes forward. The president of the Physiological Society of Nigeria should be there when stories are written. The Physiological Society of Nigeria will always be there. And to join them also is the guest lecturer to be followed by my dean, 
the dean of the faculty of basic medical sciences. Authority to that again is the representative of the post and himself, Deputy Prince, Professor Ade Fatai. Okay. And the representative of the Morning Star Society of Chapel of the Resurrection should join them. Please encourage Baba Lucas to come forward. Last but not the least, the chaplain of the Chapel of the Resurrection will join them. As a matter of fact, this process is not complete if it's not on the podium. Don't say I'm being partial. God bless you, sir. Having seen this array, you will agree with me that we still have somebody who is supposed to be here. This is the former CMD of the University College Hospital, Professor Abiodu Ilesomi should join them. I don't think anybody will accuse us of not having a representation here. So, Baba, the first provost will direct all the proceedings and all others will take orders from him. Fortunately, I don't think there is anybody that is more senior than the first provost. Over to you, sir. Well, well, could you put your hands on the hand? Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's right. Okay. This is the cutting of the cake. A very beautiful cake that marks the 70th birthday and retirement of Professor Adesoji Basamade from the College of Medicine, University of Ibadan, University College Hospital. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Congratulations. We call the second one also. Similarly, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Photograph. Okay, they've been taken already. Thank you very much. We will see how a group photograph session at the end of the uh, program. Thank you, thank you. Professor Vasamadi, don't go yet, too. We have all stood and listened to everyone talk about Professor Vasamadi. Now is the time for us to hear from the celebrants of today. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. For Professor Adesoji Fasomade. All honor and glory to the Lord God Almighty. Many people started, they never got to where I am today. It is not by power, neither is it by might, but by the grace of God. It is the grace of God only that has brought me here. And if I stop just as what I've said, I think I've said all. To God be the glory. But I must uh, thank everyone. 
You see, before we started the program and the dignitaries started coming in, we had uh, some trepidation. How are we going to recognize everybody? But I believe God recognizes every one of us. So you will pardon the uh, MC, you will pardon me also, uh, because uh, we all recognize you, but we cannot just mention everybody by name. The chairman of today, uh, I thank God for him. On 23rd of June, 1980, he was bowing out as the last dean of the Faculty of Medicine of the University of Ibadan and stepping in as the provost of the College of Medicine of the University of Ibadan. And I remember that day, I was sitting in the front row as an inductee medical doctor. On my left was my former roommate, Dr. Shegun Keyi, and on my right was sitting uh, Akinyinka Omigbodun, who later had to become the provost of the College of Medicine. That day, we looked at Professor E. Oluwole Akande as making history. We thank God for him today. He's still standing strong. Three days ago, he turned 85 years old. So happy birthday again to you, sir. Uh, Professor Akande actually represents the old medical college, the old school of the University College uh, Ibadan the fleeting memory of a great citadel. Many of us that came in there as young lecturers, we had high hopes. But right in our front, things had fallen apart. But we stood still. We stood our ground because we know that by staying to fight on, things will get better. Yes, we, we may not have won to that level that we wanted to get to today, but I thank God I have my classmates, Professor Akinyekao Mikbodun, Professor Shegun Ogunlade, Professor Lai Shitu, Dr. Retired Commissioner of Police, that you are Deleke. Um, Professor Dele Agbana of Afe Babalola University. We have Alaji Prince Ogumola there. Many of us have forgotten about him because he actually chose to practice his first profession. He was a pharmacist before joining us to study medicine. But after we are finished, he went back to his old love, pharmacy. Now I came to join physiology department because of my passion to teach. When I was in secondary school, many of the times I had to teach my classmates especially mathematics and physics. It may, well, I'm not proud, but I had A1 distinction in additional mathematics, <laughs> meaning I scored 100% in, mathem in additional mathematics at, at my WAEC. 
Well, of course, elementary mathematics also, I scored A1. Physics, etc. So my classmates, well, unfortunately, none of my secondary school classmates is physically here. Some of them have uh, promised to join on Zoom. But we have Dr. Funsho Jagbone uh, here, who was a year our senior in Edo College, Benin City. He will attest uh, to this. And uh, uh, Chief, uh, uh, they call him World, world Man. Uh, yes. He was leaving secondary school when we stepped in to Edo College. So when I was in medical school, I had to be a demonstrator in anatomy. The court didn't want to help me come and demonstrate. And then I got a passion to teach. But before I went to the medical school, many of you will wonder why did I graduate in 1980 and not 1978. Out of confusion in one way, but out of the hand of God, I started medical laboratory technology because I wanted to be an engineer. Mind you, in my biology in secondary school, I'm sure they just passed me so that that will not spoil my results. <laughs> I mean, imagine having so A's and then to go and have a F in biology. So I'm sure they must have given me compensation. To, so I didn't like anything biology at all. I wanted to study science, uh, engineering. So when I, and I had pressure from my brothers to go and study medicine because to them, medicine was for the for somebody who was brilliant. And they thought I was brilliant enough to study medicine. But I didn't want to study medicine. So when I now saw advertisement for medical laboratory technology, that was the clincher. Medical technology. So <laughs> I dove into it and I didn't want to listen to any advice otherwise because I thought I was satisfying two words. Those people wanted me to be a doctor and those people, I mean myself, wanting to be an engineer. But when I came in, thank God I have some of my classmates here. Professor Shegun Akambi is there. He retired from the University of Ibadan three weeks ago. He studied industrial engineering from the, from the U.S. and uh, finished up in Ibadan here and became a professor of engineering here in Ibadan and retired here. He was my first roommate uh, at the School of Medical Laboratory Technology. I have here Mr. Demola Toki. Professor Shekwon Akambi went to government, sorry, to uh, King's College, Lagos. I went to Edo College, Benin City, and the two of us became of kindred minds. Uh, Demola Toki went to an upland school. And uh, my first Interaction with him was that why did you have to do things this way? It's not done this way. And that made us to become friends. Because I saw him as somebody uh, who had to be accultured to what we knew was right then. Then we have an audience here, our Baba uh, Shegun's brother. Overseer Oni is above 80 years of age. Thank you, sir. He has always been there with us. I got to know him through his brother, Shegun. 
and uh, he rose very high in the civil service of old western state and uh, later the old or your state before he retired i thank god because i've had people to shape my life it is true i grew up in a, a royal family i'd always lived with so many people around me but thank god right from my early stage i've learned that whenever i get to a place i must leave an impact to make sure that that place i'm living it better than i met it and god has been my help uh, i thank god today that uh, i have so many of you uh, witnessing uh, my retirement from the University of Ibadan. The retirement, I thank God that I got to that age. But again, uh, I'm living. I consider it as an end of an era in physiology department. Yes, I came to physiology just like they have said to come and be among the lions. Four of us came in there at, this, at that time. One of them is late now, late Dr. Mrs. Martins. Dr. Adeleye also was there. Dr. Babatola, now Professor Babatola, somewhere in the US, sorry, in the UK, and me. So those of us formed another era before we had the younger people coming in led by Dr. Ibironke, Professor Lada, and co. So as I'm stepping down now from physiology department, I consider it as an end to an era. And as I remove my cap and uh, put it on Professor Lada and the others, st starting a new era in physiology department, I believe uh, they are going to continue where even we have failed and I'm sure they are going to do it better than us because they have been well equipped, they have been well endowed and the Lord being with them, they are going to succeed even where we have failed. We love physiology departments but I have a singular honor again just like Professor Shokumbi has said, he started it all with uh, Professor Buniyi, uh, who is also here, uh, straddling between two faculties. Uh, Professor Shokumbi, a neurosurgeon and also an anatomist. Professor Oguniyi, a neurologist and a physiologist, even though he didn't stay too long in physiology. And thank God today, I'm also a physiologist and a physician. I trained as a cardiologist, and when the UCH was going to employ me as a consultant, I was employed as a consultant cardiologist. But in those days, we had powers that could assign people. So after working for two years as a, a consultant cardiologist, I was moved to endocrine medicine to go and stand in because there was no other uh, consultant there. So in 1995, I became an endocrinologist. And today, I'm better known as an endocrinologist. But if you look at my research, you will see that it has cardiorespiratory uh, background. Even when I, was, when I see talk about diabetes, I still want to look at the heart uh, with it because that is my first love. So I thank God that I'm living today. A policy I also have is that people say, I have, I have. If I'm in a position to help, 
woe unto me if I don't help. Because somebody else will help. And that person will, will have the glory. So if I can do it, let me do it to the glory of God. If I cannot do it, I will let the person know to what extent I can perform. I can say somebody else can do better. Let's go to him. And that is why I'm not used to sitting down. When you come to me, I listen to you. I say, oh, I can't do that, but I know somebody who can do it. Let's go to him. Well, I do hope my classmates that, are, that I'm leaving behind, please, OBC2, Akinyika uh, Omigbodun, Malomon is somewhere there, there, and uh, there is a Shegun Ogunlade there. When I come to you, don't say, OTT Day again, no. I will come. I will bring people to you. God helping me. So, uh, our provost, my dean, uh, Professor Layaki, you only mentioned that we are going to Dubai together. We have actually gone to several other countries to let us know more about diabetes, and that we have given our own perspective of diabetes in Nigeria to other people all over the world. We were in Canada. We have been so many other places together uh, telling people about diabetes. You will not be tired. I thank God for you because I met you. I gave the little advice I could give, and you stuck to it, and uh, the Lord has saved you. And I thank God for my various patients. Please forgive me if I have not done what I should have done. But thank God I was able to do the little I could do to encourage you. I believe you are all been very, very good because in diabetes you've got to be a driver yourself. Most of you have been the driver of your care. And that is what makes us very, very glad. The Chapel of the Resurrection, thank you so much. Our spiritual leader is here, the Venerable Dr. Oladele. I thank God for the Resurrection Monster Society. I joined when I came back from Fiji in 2002. And shortly after that, I was made the secretary. I was wondering why was I the secretary. But I thank God. God helped me. And this, to be a secretary there actually opened my eyes to so many opportunities. And God helped me. I was able to do it. Engineer Ashaye, you have been a very solid <laughs> encourager. You encourage me to do many things for the Resurrection Morning Star Society. You encourage the society and you spend a lot for the society. The Lord will continue to strengthen you. And as we have a new president of the society, Professor Bode Lucas, where I've known you for so long, you are the dean of the Postgraduate School of the University of Ibadan. You did a lot for the university and for the school. I know Restoration Monster Society is going to rise high. I will not forget to mention the Restoration Lilies who are here on behalf of my wife, who is also your member. And then uh, the medical profession here of various categories, uh, Professor Mrs. Fadupin, and the husband, they are here. Okay, Professor, Mrs. Fadu Queen, thank you so much for encouraging us. Uh, there are so many consultants here, so many physiologists here, and finally, my students. Uh, my students, 
have been lucky. I allow you to do a lot of things by yourself. And I've learned that when you lead somebody to the river, let him dip his tongue in the river, river and drink by himself. Don't force him to drink. If he has difficulty in drinking, you teach him how to drink. But let him drink by himself. And that is why you have been successful. I thank God for you all. <laughs> Professor uh, Dele Laiwola, thank you so much for being a very good neighbor. I can't mention everybody by name, but uh, Prince Adeshikwe, you have been an encourager. Uh, Reverend Adejumambi, uh, thank you so much. Please, let, uh, don't mind me. Don't let me mention names again. And finally, I have to thank my family. God has endowed me, endowed me with a good family. When I say family, I look at three categories of my family. One, the nuclear family, my wife and children, grandchildren. My immediate family, my brothers and sisters, actually, I hope I've not let you down because uh, you probably have required more from me than I could uh, provide. But well, thank God I was able to provide the little I could. And the extended family. Uh, I have here uh, representing the Downsea and Akinyemi families of Uru Ajowa, where my mother hailed from. My father was a reverend in the old Kukuruku uh, Dauces, Archdauces, Kukuruku uh, area, Spani Ikare, Lokoja, Okene, etc. My father baptized my mother. And when the wife of the reverend died, uh, the reverend had to marry my mother. And then thereafter, my father was called to come and become the Oba, the king of our uh, town. So my mother had to follow my father to Ekiti. And then, uh, my father had to take the initiative to become a real Oba. I hope you understand what I mean. <laughs> and I was born 10 years after my immediate senior brother. Probably because my mother felt that uh -uh, she also should have somebody. So that's why I am here, the youngest of my mother. I thank God for a good family that I've come from. The people from Uru Ajowa, Emengo, uh, let me to greet my people. And people from Ido Ile uh, used to be called Ido Aginare. I know Professor Akinyinka used to teach me the way to, <laughs> until I had to tell him that one day that I was returning from Lagos to Ibadan. And when we got to a place, I saw the road to Abekuta. <laughs> Thank you all. God bless you all. A round of applause for Professor Fasamade, please, as he goes back to his seat. <laughs> Can we please give him a standing ovation, please? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. Can we please be seated while the chairman gives? Hello. While the chairman gives his closing remarks.
the provost of the College of Medicine, represented by the deputy provost, past provost of the college, past CMD of the UCH, the chaplain of the Chapel of the Resurrection, my Lord Bishop, distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a wonderful day, full of testimonies. You've been told that if you see a man who is diligent in his work, he will stand before kings and not before unknown men. So we can say clearly that Professor Fasomade is standing before kings today. He is recognized worldwide. Testimonies abound as to what he does. He's a cheerful giver. He does so many things. And he has done so well. We are very proud of him. We're happy to note that even though he's retired, he is not tired, and he will continue to give, not only to this university, but elsewhere. We are confident that his services will continue to be relevant to all the areas that he has touched. So many areas. The mentees have given evidence. The students have given evidence. The patients have given evidence. The church has given evidence. We thank you very much. And we pray that the good Lord will continue to be with you and your family. It's important to have a family. Because Proverbs 18.22 says, He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. There's no question at all about it. We thank God for you. We thank God for your family. Many thanks indeed for all those who have graced this occasion. This hall is really quite full and exciting. Full of very, very important people. Very, very dignified people. Thank you very much indeed. Have a lovely afternoon, a lovely evening, and God bless us all. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Just before we close, I've been informed that the chairman of the Diabetic Association of Nigeria would like to present you with a gift, sir. Can we please come forward? The chairman, Diabetic Association of Nigeria, can you please bring your gifts and present to the celebrant of today, Professor Adesoji Fasamade. After this, we will have the closing prayer and close this ceremony with the university anthem as well as the national anthem. We thank God for our Father who has been so useful and in fact he has been a source of uh, uh, remedy to a lot of people. Actually, there is nobody to take to him that will not attend to. Like uh, Prof says sometimes, it's not only among the professors you have uh, the lions. You have lions among doctors too. But in case of Baba, you confidently go to him and actually do whatever and will be satisfied. So we just have to come, we desire to uh, come just in a gr little group. We have a lot of people who have been here, but we know that we are not only 
good blood to be uh, invited. So, we thank you so much. We pray that you continue to live long and live forever. You shall not suffer any disease. You shall not suffer inadequacy by the grace of God. Oh, so, this is the little thing just to show our appreciation for all you have been doing both in the night and the day. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sirs and mas. I would like to bring to the podium the chaplain, chapel of the resurrection, University of Badon, Venerable Dr. V. I. Oladele to give the closing prayer for today's event. A round of applause for him as he comes forward, please. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Before I say my prayer, I'm delighted to be here. And it is an encouragement for me that we have saints among our church members. And let me say this, that I have said this several times, that when you live well, you won't make we preachers to tell lies at your barrier. Professor Fasomade, thank God for your testimony. I'm confident you are not going to die now. You will live long like your father. But anytime it comes, I know the one we preach that day we say the gospel truth. You will not lie. Please stand and let us pray. At the end of this program, O oh God, we give glory to your name for what you have done in the life of your son, Professor Adesoji. Thank you, gracious God, for his appointment in the University of Ibadan. Thank you for his meritorious service to this institution. Thank you for his meritorious service to humanity. Even in the house of God, thank you because your son is up and doing. We have many people today in the chapel of the resurrection who joined the chapel because of the services of your son. Lord God Almighty, the time has come for your son to retire as a teacher. But I know that he's not going to retire unto sickness. He's not going to retire unto death. But Lord God, that on a daily basis you will strengthen your son. Everything that you have enabled him to do for humanity and for this institution will not be eroded in the name of Jesus Christ. Today, your son is a septuagenarian. The grace that you need for old age, the Lord will release unto you. We pray for you that in your service to God and to, unto humanity, sickness will not render you ineffective. The strength that you need, the Lord will release unto you. You will not retire unto suffering. The Lord will meet you at every point of need in the name of Jesus Christ. And for all of us who have come to grace this occasion, the mighty hand of God will be with on you. You have come here in peace and joy. We
we pray that as we return, tragedy will not be reported. That you have come to grace this occasion, you will not bite your fingers. You will not gnash your teeth. Professor Fasomade, we pray for you. Calamity will not be for your home. The Lord will keep your wife for you. He will make her strong. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will keep your children. In your family, you will not cast your young. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the department from where you are retiring, the Lord will be with that department. Physiology department, we pray that you will not die young. Every one of you, the Lord will be with you. And the vacuum created by the retirement of her, your son, oh God, you will raise people who will be lamb and not lions. In the name of Jesus Christ. University of Ibadan, from glory to glory, you continue to move. Thank you, gracious God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Because I have my fathers in God here, I will not be the one to say the benediction. So I invite Baba Oshwande to please say the benediction. Oh, be with you. Let us bow our heads for the grace. Take a moment to wish yourself well. That in this journey of life, you will finish strong. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, which passes all understanding, keep your mind, your body, your soul in perfect peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you, abide with you, protect you, and come around you and give you peace now and forevermore Amen. thank you very much sir shall we have the university anthem national anthem.
Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Appreciation. Modupe oni buore baba bokemi. Yeah, sure.